You may well on. Um, I have not been here for the whole of the proceedings this, this morning. But I was missed an hour having sat and listened to the Honourable General Hammersmith and for Hammersmith for an hour and a half. And I had rather anticipated that I would have uh, come back to find that the first speech of the day had concluded by the time I returned. And I just really want to register uh, my concern, as I think you, ha you have, um, that we, if we continue progress at this rate, um, there are, there is going to have implications for, the, obviously, the consideration by this committee of the rest of the, uh, of, of the, rest of the bill. And I just want to make, make that observation, having now been here, we've now been here for two and a half hours, and still on the first speech on the first group of amendments. I'll deal with this point of first, and then come to you, Mr. Watts. Uh, Mr. Blunt, I think you can be reassured that everything has been in order, and both you and I will have the benefit of listening to Mr. Slaughter, because both you and I have had the misfortune not to catch the whole of his speech this morning. And if it is in any way disorderly, then he'll be asked to cease. Mr. Watts. Mr. Order, Chairman, just for, for your information, we had a similar point of order at the, in, in this morning session. I'd just like to be reassured that the, uh, the, the government benches won't try to dictate to the chair whether something is in order or is not in order. We can try to do what they like, but it's up to the chair to decide what is in order and what is not. And we will listen to all representations uh, fairly but firmly. Mr. Slaughter. Mr. Hogan, it, it, it's a great pleasure to, it would have been a pleasure in any event to welcome you to the chair, but having seen you stamp your authority on the committee from the first moment, uh, I, I double my uh, appreciation of your being here. And, uh, and if I may say so, I did think the comments from the, from the minister who, um, uh, who was not here uh, for the part of the morning session, but did have a touch of les majesté about them. And I'm sure now that you are firmly in the chair that you will control proceedings in your own manner. And uh, on that side, I would simply inform you, Mr. Holborn, that we've had a very inclusive debate this morning, with the exception of the, uh, of the, of the, of the President Minister. I think all members have had, a, have had their five pennies worth uh, so far, and, we, and uh, a lot of very good points have been made uh, in interventions. And the final point I, I would make in my uh, exculpatory statement is that I was, in any event, drawing to the end of my preliminary comments. <laughs> 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 um, and, 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 and I, but, uh, 